uh, on our last show of the year. We're going to just take a few minutes here to give you a treat, a look back at some of the top 10 top line moments of 2010. Here you go. Take a look. So you became something of a YouTube hit recently with an altercation with the New York Post reporter, Fred Decker. We're going to show a little piece of it. We're done with talking about Fred Dicker. We're back at Mexico. I'll take you out, buddy. You're going to take me out? Yeah. How are you going to do that? Watch. When you watch this clip, what do you, do you feel like you may have overreacted? Do you feel like you, you, like you, you, feel like you may have, overreacted? Do you feel like you, you may have not have handled the situation? Clearly, you were mad about the, the, the potential threat against your daughter. I don't apologize for that. Absolutely not. And now we're going to go on. We're going to tell you about Medicaid. Our Medicaid is totally out of, out of whack with reality. You know, we do pizza here on Capitol Hill as well, and, and We the Pizza is one of our favorites, and we'd like to offer you a slice, and um, uh, th this is a, a chef spike over at We the Pizza. <laughs> that looks uh, pretty good. Really, uh, but we, we really would like you to take a piece and, um, and, and tell us what you think. But sure. Wait, I don't know, this is not Chicago style. Yeah, just kind of dig yeah, in anywhere here. Whatever you want, yeah, yeah, go ahead. There you go. All right, we got it. We're, <laughs> we've got the taste test going. All right, well done. What do you think? Quick judgment. Very good. Thumbs Trump's up spike from Congressman like Bobby pizza Schilling. Man. The choice of mayo on corned beef, that was your decision? Can well, you, you know, that? hey, um, <laughs> you know, they say that you, they say that's a half um, Jewish sandwich, but um, <laughs> I'm a mayo guy. I can't help it. All right. Well, I, we can't endorse. But. Th that's I, right. I eat mayonnaise on everything, <laughs> you know. <laughs> We're going to try and come to some conclusion the early part of next year. So, and, and you're going to make that announcement uh, here on Top Line, I assume. That's right. We like making news, remember? Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> can, we, can we at least get a commitment from you that we'll first hear about this on Top Line? <laughs> you'll get a commitment that you'll hear about it on Top Line. <laughs> Are you going to do something then to help your candidate in Alaska? He has $4,000 in the wait, bank wait, wait, right what's now. What's his name, by the way? Well... Our candidate in Alaska. Yeah, what's his name? Mm -hmm. What's his name? Well, his name, his wow. name is not Lisa McCaskey. Wow. His name is not Lisa McCaskey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's break it. Let's break it. Yeah, I was thinking, if I do, I'm either going to skip it all together, yeah, yeah. but then everyone, like, you're damned if you do, you're damned right. if you don't. Right. Then everyone's going to say, did she intentionally skip it? Right. So I was thinking about just going as Dorothy, you know? <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> I killed the witch. There you go. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Excellent. You have a lovely singing voice, and, I, and I'm not just saying that. I really, because we've listened to it in the YouTube clip and elsewhere. I'm wondering if you'll sing us a couple of bars of uh, of Sweet Home Arizona, or you know, maybe another synopsis of your campaign. Well, the fact is, I'll, I'll sing it, but I want everyone to go to our website, RodneyGlassman.com, okay. and Rod learn I'll more about all of our issues. But it's it's, it's Sweet it. Home Arizona, where the skies are so blue. Sweet Home Arizona, it's time to retire, John McCain. At the end of the day, it's Sweet Home Arizona. Where the skies are so blue, sweet home Arizona. John, it's time to retire you. We're almost uh, out of time. It's a system that is broken, and so there does have to be change. There has to be transition. Okay. But for now, okay. those that are dependent on it, we've got to keep very, those obligations. Very, very quick question, just a yes or no answer. Do you favor this uh, extension of unemployment benefits that the Congress is going to vote on, the Senate is going to vote on tomorrow? The unemployment compensation benefits have got it. First of all, it's not constitutionally authorized. I think that's the first thing that's got to be looked at. So I do not favor their extension. Do you regret the fact that you stooped so low to run an ad that they clearly distorted your opponent's uh, words and you know went so far as to compare him to the to the Taliban? What makes you say that I distorted his words? That's not true. Because uh, when, when he's talking about, uh, some, when he's quoting that Bible verse, he's telling the audience not to pay attention to that verse. He's actually giving them the opposite uh, uh, instruction. You know, Danny Webster was in the state legislature for 30 years. He has an appalling record of being anti-woman and treating women like second-class citizens. That ad was entirely accurate. That even, even Taliban Dan, even calling him Taliban Dan. You think well, that's fair. a matter of atmospherics, but the fact is it had no effect on the campaign. That is, I think, the first interview we've done on horseback. Really? So, uh, well, yeah, hopefully yeah. they... I think. Is that right, Gregory? Is that... Uh, as as yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, that's it for yes. us for 2010. See you in 2011. Have a great new year. That's right. Remember to follow us, twitter.com slash Amy Walter, twitter.com slash Devin Dwyer. Have a great one tonight, and thanks for watching with us.